The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. Why can you forgive Donald Trump on some of his past, but not Marco Rubio? I really don't have anything to forgive him for. I'm not his judge. He's not a perfect man. None of us are perfect. But you know what? He loves America. He loves, he, he's fighting for us to remain a sovereign nation. If we don't get control of our borders, if we don't restore our sovereignty at the border and stop the influx of illegal aliens, I mean, when the bathtub's overflowing, you got to turn off the water before you can clean up the mess. Uh, and we have to protect our sovereignty. We don't want to be part of the New World Order. We don't want to join the North American Union. We want to be a, a band of 50 sovereign states, uh, all right, all United right. States what about of America. Ted Cruz? What about Ted Cruz, just quickly? I mean, Ted Cruz, well, Ted Cruz Tea Party. Mr. Tea Party, why aren't you supporting him? Yeah, well, well, I, 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 Ted Cruz was born on Canadian soil to a Cuban national. That's not the, re the definition of a natural-born citizen as articulated in Article 2, Clause 5 of the U.S. Constitution. He, like Marco Rubio and like Barry Sotoro, are not eligible to be in the office of president, period. Amen. Okay. Um, may not get an amen from me on that because I do believe it was an American. His mother is American. And how so how, how could can he be an American him? when he was born in Canada on Canadian soil to a Cuban national and a mother, by the way, who was registered to vote as a Canadian at the time of his birth? That's not what our founding fathers had in mind to be the definition of a natural born citizen. Okay. Um, I haven't spoken to the founding fathers. Dan Ray, I appreciate your perspective. Glad to have you on. Thank you. Thank you Coming so much. Next. God bless. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide.